guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are here in world of kingdom 2 in today's video i'm going to share with you guys a beginner's guide on how to get started in world of kingdom 2 and make sure you keep watching till the end because i got you covered with a lot of things with everything that you guys need to know because obviously a lot of people are moving on from royal high to all of these games and i already made a video on another game that is really popular right now called astro in essence so if you guys need a beginner's guide on how to get started on that game make sure go ahead and check it out it's on my last video but anyways in the comments of that video someone asked me to create a beginner's guide to get started in royalty kingdom 2 as well so here i am and i'm also going to share with you guys some redeem codes that you can use to get a lot of free money to get started that i'll show you guys in my next video so make sure subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on all of these helpful videos that i make because i know a lot of people just watch the video and don't subscribe so of course make sure also turn on notifications because i'm always making these helpful videos for y'all but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video so when you first join Valdi Kingdom 2, you will be shown with this travel map and there is about 3 maps that you can join. We have the main city island of Valdi Kingdom 2 and then there is the base plate. This was specially made for you to test your avatar and avoid the other realms laggy recommended for people who make videos and mobile players. But if you have a good device then of course you can play the other maps. Now the third map we have is the Bloom Rock Island. This one is an unreleased map of a scrapped event. Although I'm really glad that they ended up releasing it because the map is super gorgeous. You guys should definitely travel and see it for yourselves. But in the city island is where most of the events happen as you click travel. You'll see the current Lunar New Year celebration map that we have in here. You can do the Lunar New Year's quest. And then we have the Valentine's theme over Bloom Park. The other seasonal maps are currently locked out right now because it is not in season. But right now I'm in the Valentine's over Bloom Park and this is the map that gets updated most. Like I'm pretty sure there was the auto halloween theme event and also the new year's update all happening in this map and i know you guys may get confused with the map so let me show you guys that first right here is the central area there is a little fountain in the circle and there are four squares divided in the corners there is a little playground here with a bunch of benches and then right over here is a little like i don't even know what you call this but you basically go here and then it teleports you to a really high sky area and there is a little pond this was used to get a valentine's halo if i remember correctly the next square right here there was a black history month quest that was happening on this corner and then on the left side corner there is the wisteria tree now this tree is not just any regular tree let me show you guys what it does so you can basically do your logins you just water the sacred wisteria tree however you do have to do a quest to unlock this tree and get these rewards i already have a guide made on this quest so if you guys want you can go ahead and check them out but from the sacred tree you can claim a bunch of rewards daily and if you click wisteria tree on top of your screen you will see the rewards list on how many items that you can get this is the special halo that you can get it has a two percent chance and there is some items that you can get but there's also lots of wisterias as well and these are the special badges that you can get from the wisteria tree you can get the first one by completing the quest and unlock the wisteria tree and then the second pass for winning the heirloom horn halo which is this one then we have the professional watering pass for doing the wisteria tree for 30 days in a row without a single miss you can also see the history of the rewards that you currently got which is the currency that we have so if you check your side menu you'll see on the top right corner we have this currency right here which is the wisterias this is the main currency that we use for almost every permanent item in game and right now is the lunar new year season that's why we have a second currency called yunba or something I don't actually remember the names but yeah it is Lunar New Year's theme and you can use it to buy items in the shop. 
And in this month, February, there is supposed to be three parts of an update in Valdi Kingdom 2. And we already got two parts of them. They released some of the winter sets that they couldn't release in time. And another thing is that if you play Valdi Kingdom 2 for 15 minutes, you will be rewarded with 100 waste areas, which I think is really helpful and makes your farming easier. You can play for another 15 minutes for an additional $100. Now I don't think you can actually purchase these winter items if you don't have the winter currency called poinsettias. These are specially made to buy the winter shop items but if you're a new player starting out then you'll just have to wait for the next winter season and don't wait because they always come back the next time. In this section we have the valentine's items. We have these heels over here and then this really gorgeous starlight modern slate coat. There's also the heels and press to go along with it. We also do have a masculine set in the valentine shop for all of you masculine players. Although it did go off sale because valentine's is over now I'm pretty sure. And if you're a new player and really want to buy all of the older items that exist in Valdi Kingdom 2 you can also do that. Right here you can see all of the special event shops. There is the Lunar New Year shop and then go back and click next. You'll see the valentine shop and there is a total of 58 items in this. You can also see how many items of them you own. Then we got the Black History Month shop and then the Wister Year Bloom shop. We also got the Easter shop however they are currently unavailable so you can see which ones you can currently purchase. Now if you're someone who really wants to get a head start in Valdi Kingdom 2 and get a couple of items, there is also a VIP exclusive set that you can buy if you're a new player. They usually give a couple of discounts on these items every now and then but right now is the season for ancient remains of summer and on the left side you can see all of the included items there is a masculine version to this as well there is a mermaid tail a scepter heels and a jellyfish halo or skirt i guess I think this one is a halo and this one is the skirt. There is the sleeves, corset, a headpiece and then a masculine version of the item. There is a secret item on this although I don't know what it is. Now next up let's see how we can redeem these codes. They are on the top right corner. You can redeem any codes that come out. I usually make videos every time there is a new update with a lot of codes so make sure to subscribe once again. Next up there is the quest section. I already have guides made on almost all of these quests so make sure go ahead and check them out. They are included in my Royalty Kingdom 2 videos playlist. Now we come to the Royalty Kingdom 2 game passes shop. With this you can get VIP cards and VIP tag on top of your head and change QI text font. And then we got the customized walk speed because in Royalty Kingdom 2 you cannot actually run unless you buy this. So, And then we got the next game pass called discount card. With this you can get 25% off when purchasing items from the shop and then we got 2x waste areas. You can get double the waste areas when collecting waste areas, mini games and quest rewards. This costs 500 robux. Now are you guys wondering if you actually can trade in this game? Well trading is not an option however if you have someone really generous in the server or maybe a friend then you can ask them to gift you some items. Here is the inbox you can see all of the last items that you got gifted and let me show you guys how to do this so go up on any item that you want to give then click on this icon and then you'll basically be asked to like select any person that are in the server but i'm in a private server so no one shows right now and you can also enter a little note to your item and then there is the price now let's check out how we can earn wisteria's really fast. You can easily get wisteria's by watering the sacred wisteria tree every day. But there's also mini games that you can do. There is a total 4 of them however the last one is currently in beta but you can see the save the beer minigame gives you 15 to 2500 waste areas for a time for 1 minute. 
but if you have the 2 x Stereos Game Pass, it will give you the double. Although it looks kind of creepy with the red-eyed bear in the background, but you just shoot it with your gun. And the bear just keeps on following you around, but you just walk away. The next one is Collect the Shells. This one is also pretty easy, but takes a bit longer. There is a bit side coast at Royalty Kingdom too, so you'll basically be tasked with collecting shells on the shore. The next one is the Tower Sobby. I don't really like this one, but if you're someone who is really good at obbies, probably like Tower of Hell, then you can do this one. It has a slightly bit higher reward. And the last mini game rewards are unknown. It's a question mark. But you can see descriptions on how to play these games under each one of them. Now these Wisterius can also be picked up around the map. They look like that. But I think it already gives you a good amount of Wisterius. Especially because the items in Royalty Kingdom 2 are not really that pricey if you ask me. And we usually get a lot of free rewards from the coast so it doesn't really matter. Now at this part of the square there is the NPC called Nahia and you can talk to her to get the Valentine's Halo which is currently in season right now but I already completed it last year. I have a guide on it so you can go check that out. Now here is the little sanctuary thing that is what the sign says. You can come over here and I think it will teleport you up. I don't know why it's not working right now but it used to work before. Now there is also vehicles in this game. You can spawn any of them that you want. There is the VIP ones that I can spawn because I have VIP in this game. But now let's move on to the closet section. Just go to closet to see all of the items that you currently own. Although if I'm pretty sure that they already give you some starter items if you're a new player which is pretty good. Then if you click character we got the skin tones and the animation packages and your roleplay name. And then we got the hairstyles. You can mix match up to 3 hairstyles at once. This includes bangs. There's also categories to short to long if you want to sort through them. Next up we have the faces. They also have a favorite option on this which I really like because I don't like to scroll through a lot to find my favorite ones. So I can just find them all in here at once. Now next up we got our saved outfits. Now moving on to profile here is your journal kind of thing. I also do have my own official badge in Royalty Kingdom too. That's why it says crown creator on top of my head. I'm not a creator of this game you guys, it's just what they call us influencers but here you can see all of your badges that you own in the game and then there is the bio and of course do not forget the emotes, they also have a favorites option so you can find your favorite ones easily and don't forget that in my next video I'm gonna show you guys all of the currently working codes to give you a lot of ways areas to get started. So make sure to subscribe if this video helped you and turn on notifications for my future uploads. And as always, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bubbles!